Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I'm doing another Marvel Legends figure from the Apocalypse series. Uh, this is X-23. This is the purple X-23, which I believe is the regular one. Um, I have the black one as well, which I think is the variant. Um, she comes with the torso of Apocalypse. Um, I'm not sure. I'll wait till I get it out to get a closer look, but it kind of looks like the black one. Um, I'll... I'll have you guys tell me though, I'm sure a lot of people know better to actually have the black apocalypse, but from what I can tell, like a lot of the torso is black in there, but like I said, I haven't really researched it, so I'm not sure. On the back, get her stats. So it's just a really short bio on her. And a look at the other figures, which I've already reviewed Maestro and uh, the brown and white Sasquatch. I'm reviewing X-23. I'll do the black X-23 tomorrow. I'm still on the lookout for that green iron fist. I need him. I have the red one. Um, I'd like to pick up both of those Wolverines. And I have both of the uh, Bishops. Um, this was made by uh, Toy Biz in 2005. So let's take a quick break and I'll get these two out of the package. Alright guys, we are back with X-23. Um, first off, the comic book which is an X-Men comic book, Uncanny X-Men vs. X-23. Pretty cool. Very awesome. Um, and the Torso for Apocalypse, which is very large. Um, I still, I'm looking forward to building this Apocalypse, but I still am not a huge fan of it. I think it's just way too big. Um, don't get me wrong, I like big figures, but I wish it wasn't so tall. Um, <clears throat> but let me know if anybody can tell if this is the... Uh, black apocalypse torso or not I mean it doesn't really look like it but I mean everything's blue um, but it does have the black down on the side um, it's got like the blue shoulders and everything so I'm guessing this is the the blue one but just not sure if anybody knows let me know I don't have a black one so I'm not sure I'll have to research online I guess very cool and onto the figure I'm actually really surprised at this figure. I thought I was going to hate this. Um, looking at this figure in the package, um, she looks pretty crappy. And, and don't get me wrong, she's not perfect. The body is kind of weird looking, but um, they definitely put some cool stuff on her. Um, really, the only kind of weird thing I have with her is her head. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but... Uh, the uh, head joint is actually sideways. I don't know if it's just mine, but she rocks side to side, which is okay. But I mean, the ball joint sideways, so she doesn't go up and down. I'm not sure if that thing will spin or not. Uh, I'll have to get like some needle nose pliers in there and try to turn it, because you know, I mean, you really can't get your fingers in there to turn it. Um, but I think it's just turned to the side. I'll just have to try to spin it. Um, but the head sculpt looks okay. Not bad. Um, her hair is kind of a softer rubber, so it doesn't really block the articulation. Um, she has really cool claws. Her claws are really nice. Both pretty straight and everything. They're a little bit flexible. Not bad. A little silver belt buckle. And uh, one thing I thought was kind of neat was on her shoes. You see she's got her boots, um, which are actually really nicely detailed. With all the studs on the side and straps and everything. Um, but her boots have the blades that come out. And uh, I never knew that. I've never seen a review on her and really seen her up close. So I thought that was pretty neat uh, that the blades actually kind of just fold up or they can be pulled out. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Now, I mean, the body is a little plain. You know, you can see she's got like the zipper up on her, her suit or whatever. But the back, you know, I mean, no, you know, butt definition or back or anything. There's just really nothing going on. It's kind of plain. Um... But a pretty decent figure, actually. I'm kind of excited about this one. It's a lot better than I expected. <clears throat> so her articulation, she does have a ball joint. Um, but I'll, of course, I'll have to turn it so she can look up and down. And does swivel side to side. Um, a ball jointed shoulder with a swivel at the upper bicep. I um, actually gave her double jointed elbows, which is really odd for a character this small. <clears throat> yeah, looks kind of funky. Um, there is a swivel right at the top of her uh, kind of wrist guards or whatever. And a back and forward pivot at the actual wrist. And her hands are just molded shut, which is fine. They're 
really small, I wouldn't want them to open. And she has a side to side torso joint, doesn't really go up and down. Uh, swivel at the waist. She has ball jointed hips with the swivel. Uh, double jointed knees. A swivel right at the top of the boot. And a back and forward pivot at the foot. And she actually does have side to side pivots. They don't pivot real far, but enough to get her a, a flat footed stance, which is cool. Um, so, you know, just a really cool figure. I'm, I'm glad to have her. Uh, she does have a bit of problems uh, standing with the blades up, though. You can see it kind of creates a, you know, kind of a rocking thing. It just kind of bubbles out. So, I have no problems, you know, posing her with her spikes out of her shoes. And that doesn't bother me at all. But, uh, definitely a pretty cool figure, you know. And she's pretty short, too. Um, which is, you know, pretty accurate. I guess she's six inches tall, but man, she sure does look short. Um, not sure. I'll I'll try to do a size comparison when I do the variant. Um, it maybe bring in a, a Wolverine or something and see what she looks like. But anyways, that was X23. Thanks for checking it out.